I had my first book, I published The Bright Side of Darkness, which is a novel, five years ago, that was 2015. And then I published Daddy Won't Let Mom Drive the Car, True Tales of Parenting in the Dark, that was last summer. Okay. That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. Today, I am speaking with an inspiring author of the book, Daddy Won't Let Mommy Drive the Car. Her name is <laughs> Joe Elizabeth. She will be. She will tell us the brief story behind the title, amongst other significant things. So, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, please like, comment, and share now let's jump into the video <clears throat> morning miss joe elizabeth well hi how are you thanks for having me on and I if am. you hear any chirps in the background that's my daughter's parakeet rocket but he should be pretty quiet now because it's not too bright in here okay well we hope not but that and if it does then we are letting people know we are, we're animal lovers as well so with that being said you 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 you've come on the show a couple of times but for those who don't know who you are just briefly tell them where you're from and what your name is and uh how did you uh lose your sight my name is joe elizabeth pinto and i have been blind since birth i was born premature and so i did time in the incubator and that damaged my optic nerves it's called retinopathy of prematurity and it happened to a lot of babies in the 70s and 80s not so much anymore but still for very premature babies that can happen um rop they call it oh, i've heard of that a lot uh, before we conclude, uh, like move the mic just a little bit back from your mouth. Okay, it's better. Okay, ready? Go. Um, how long have you been writing uh, professionally? Um, well, I've wanted to write ever since I was, before I started school. Uh, my dad used to read to me a lot and I can remember he read me a book about Osceola, the Seminole Indian chief who stood up to the U.S. government in Florida and wouldn't leave when the government tried to drive his people out. And I fell in love with the idea that words could be put in books and read over and over again. Um, I was sad when the story was over and he said, well, we could turn around the book and start at the beginning. And it was like a awakening and i was just excited about that and i thought i want to do that i want to make books someday and i had a poem published in jack and jill magazine which is a kids magazine when i was 12 and i was really excited about that and then there would be a long time till i was published again but um I had my first book, I published The Bright Side of Darkness, which is a novel five years ago, that was 2015. And then I published Daddy Won't Let Mom Drive the Car, True Tales of Parenting in the Dark, that was last summer. Okay. And okay. I'll have another book coming out in about a month or so, hopefully if all goes well. Okay. Well, we definitely want to talk about Daddy Won't Let Mommy Drive the Car, but we have a few more things to get to um, before we do that. Um, for someone who can't see, is it uh, rather difficult uh, to be uh, to have your book published? Mm, the writing is not really difficult if you're inclined to that kind of thing. 
but you do need someone to help you the day you publish and go on Amazon to make sure you have your margins all right and your formatting and all that. We're still working with Amazon on accessibility. So I have gotten a couple of different sighted people who were willing to help me get that all done right. Um, usually they'll do it for friendship's sake and homemade banana bread or some other thing like that. And I've helped them with other aspects of their books in return, editing and proofreading and marketing and that kind of thing. So it's a mutual, um, you know, you can always offer your skills in return. Right, right, right. So hopefully, well, we're not gonna say hopefully. Well, when, when you become that world-renowned author, you won't have that problem at all. <laughs> so My husband says, with... or your children, you could offer them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, do you have a method uh, for writing when you sit down to put your your ideas and things like that together? Is that method, or you just, you know, maybe you know, do nothing, or maybe drink you a, a beverage or something to that effect? <laughs> well, I get an idea, and then. I have to let my brain percolate on it for a while. Like with this book that I have coming okay. out. Who brings back? Oh, hush up, Alexa. Who brings back? <laughs> I don't know. Alexa, stop. Uh, I don't know what we did to I wake up it. the monster. I, I know. Okay. One, two, three, go. Um, I get an idea. Like I had the idea for my upcoming book last winter or so. And then I let my brain sit on it for a while. And then it will come out all in a rush. And the original idea is not exactly what came out, but my brain cooked on it for a few months. And then I sat down and started writing and I don't really have exactly a plan. I have an idea of what I think I want to do. And then I just let it come out. Okay. Well, so it's not an outline or anything like that. Some people have, you know, charts and outlines right, and outlines right. or anything like that. Okay. Well, fortunately it has worked for you because you created uh, two uh, inspiring uh, books and one which we are going to be talking about right now, which is Daddy won't let mommy drive the car. Now, what is the, uh, tell us the, the, the significance behind that title, how that all got started briefly, if you don't mind. When my daughter was in the second grade, some kids were making fun of her because she walked to and from school and everywhere with her mom, instead of riding a lot in a car like the other kids. And so I went to school with her to talk about guide dogs and what they were and how they helped blind people, thinking that would help her not get teased so much. And it did. The kids started thinking, oh, Ma, she's lucky she doesn't, she gets to go with her mom and take the dog everywhere. And so at the end of class, the teacher said, so what's it like? to have a blind mom and without missing a beat she said oh it's just like having a regular mom except daddy won't let her drive his car uh, i love, I love that title. title came from okay i love that title as i mentioned uh, so what 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 is to be expected in, in uh daddy won't let mommy drive the car where can we find it and um how long has it been out you know, tell us some things that, like about the, the the book. It's been out about a year. The best way to find it, it's on Kindle, audio, and paperback. And you can go to www.brightsideauthor.com. That's like looking on the bright side, all one word, brightsideauthor.com. And find it in various formats. It's short, mostly lighthearted stories about being a blind mom and it's designed to show that 
kids are kids and parents are parents and being blind doesn't really change the experience a whole lot and it's fun to read but it's also designed to educate Oh, social workers, medical people, teachers, legislators, all different kind of people who work with diverse populations and who might need to know that we're not all that different. It's designed to open minds. Okay. And and daddy won't let mommy drive the car. Uh, it's an, it, you said it's a it's a um, compilation of, of, of several stories, short stories. Um, right. It's about three dozen or so short stories and you'll laugh you'll have a good time reading it sometimes you might get a little perturbed because there are some things about some of the unfair issues but mostly it's meant to educate you while you have a good time reading mm -hmm. it because that's if you can make someone laugh you can tell them all kinds of of information at the same time Definitely, definitely. So this is definitely for anyone who's basically curious about blindness as well. Like if you want to know, uh, you know, things about blindness, this, this, this is a book for them as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sighted people. So you definitely can pick this up because it is it, it is uh, in the format to where you can de definitely read uh, Daddy Won't Let Mommy Drive the Car. Uh, again, we're speaking with, uh, <clears throat> we're speaking with Joe Elizabeth. And uh, what's coming up next? Ne next uh for you the next one that i'm working on is going to be called apples of gold timely advice when the world doesn't seem lovely and it's out of the proverb 25 11 from the bible but it's practical and spiritual at the same time it's for dealing with difficult times like we're facing this year and it's humorous and uplifting again but with a few poems and a few inspirational things and just a lot of um stories for dealing with a year like 2020. oh that ought to be interesting definitely definitely ought to be interesting and so, hopefully that will come out by the end of september okay Cross. Good, definitely. We definitely need something like that in these times. So, uh, Daddy won't let Mama drive the car. How, how good? How good? How good are the sales right now? How's, how's it doing in the sales? Oh, department? It's doing pretty well. It's um, definitely caught on more easily than my first one. It's not caught up to it because that one had a head start, but it's caught on quicker. Okay, well, that's great, man. I'm excited to check it out, and I don't want to put you on the spot, but for those who uh, would like to to, to try out a copy, is there a way that you can maybe quote unquote give Third Eye Visions a few copies? How can we get a hold of some so I can give it to the fans and get their response? Actually, there is. If there, if you are an Audible.com member and you live in the U.S. or the U.K. and you contact me at Joe Pinto at msn.com to tell me where you want me to send you the if you give me an email address where you want me to send you a free code i can send you an audible code to get the book for free on your audible account but okay. i need to contact me and give me an email address where to send it okay now she can't give away too many free ones so we, we we're just gonna keep it under wraps maybe what maybe five or six or something like that because we want y'all to buy the book right yeah definitely so again where could they where where, where where do they have to be signed up at you have to contact me at joe pinto j-o-p-i-n-t-o at msn.com Okay, and they have to be uh, signed up with what? You have what, to be what? signed up with audible.com either in the US or the UK. Okay, well, hey, that's exciting. I can't wait to, uh, like, again, check out my copy and so that I can brag about it. So I want to thank you. Uh, any, any last minute words you want to give out to any as aspiring artists, authors, just anyone in general? I would just say keep at it because it's, I'm 
pushing 50 and I started working on my novel when I was in high school. So, you know, it may take you years and years, but it happens. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Perseverance definitely is the key. So with that being said, I want to thank all you all for subscribing to Third Eye Vision, staying along with me and, and going along with this journey with Joe Elizabeth, who is an aspiring artist. And if anyone is interested in getting her on you all's show, you definitely can uh, check out the email and, uh, you know, send her, drop her e email and, and maybe... If, if she's not that busy, she'll get back with you and what have you. So, <laughs> so oh, I'll right back and check out my website, www.brightsideauthor.com. I got it. So, I want to thank you all for checking this out and listening and staying tuned. So, with that being said, I want to wish everyone a happy, happy morning, evening, noon, or night, depending on which, which time you're viewing this. So, with that being said, I'm out.